Hi everyone, just to let you know, we're Danny and Marvin and today we're sailing from the Chesapeake Bay to Beaufort. The wind is freezing. With our kids. Ah! <laughs> we have been sailing around the world for the past four years. And today we're on our way to the Bahamas. But before that... Rounded Cape Hatteras at about uh, 4 a.m. And I burned the onions while I was talking to you, so better go cook. We're leaving the Chesapeake Bay and we're going around Cape Hatteras. We were waiting for so long for a weather window and we have two days of Pitali, a little bit of wind to start and then like 48 hours of Pitali, which will be just perfect for us to pass around with a little family. Hamptons today over here in Chesapeake. It is just next to Norfolk for those who don't know. Um, and so we spent the night next to the fuel dock. Normally we were anchored in front of Hampton University and yesterday we needed fuel. So we went to the fuel dock at like 4.45 p.m. So it was a little bit tight. Yes, normally Myron saw on Google Maps that the fuel dock would close at 7 but by the time we arrived there, 4.55, it was already closed. So we called the emergency number. We were totally, like, we started stressing because this is the only weather window to go around Hateras and there's nothing in the next two weeks. And we were very low on fuel since it's been tally. We'll need around 200 liters. I don't know how many gallon is this, but it's uh, 40 hours of motoring. We lost hope. And then we called the emergency number and the, the, the guy, he just, just came to the uh, marina back, even though he already left. to say a huge thanks to Blue Water uh, Marina, Safe Harbor Marinas over here. Thank you, you really saved our lives. Marvin is ready to always the main sale, so we'll be preparing for that. But I just wanted to add that the generosity and the hospitality of people of America is incredible. It is nothing like we've experienced in other parts of the world. It is incredible, big. I haven't realized that it was this cold, but uh, from here, wow. The sea teaches us patience and respect. To sit by the shore is to engage in a silent conversation where time slows down and we learn the value of going with the natural flow of things. Stay another grace, you know. All the pieces are in place, tied in strings of happiness. Look, the seasons have turned gray, they take you far away. All the world filled with modern grace. 
I have to say I'm totally knocked out by the pill that I took for the seasickness. At least I didn't get seasick, uh, but I'm so sleepy. So, um, well, I decided to make a little soup for everybody. I find that we don't hydrate enough during the navigation, so we'll all eat a hot soup, I think, and we'll all feel better. And I burned the onions while I was talking to you, so better go cook. Okay, uh, thanks to Chris uh, and Clay for the wonderful soup that we had yesterday and the idea uh, for the meal today. We see uh, persistence ahead of us. Yeah, we're trying to catch up. Vraiment, Tara? Oh, merci. of having a successful navigation with the kids is what well, at least for us is to buy one or two new toys uh, Tara has what do you have over there this is what's that a bulldozer and Antoine has a firefighter truck Nino, Nina, Nino. all did our little nap. Uh, Swan fell asleep for two hours so Marvin and I could lay down a little bit and now I'm making pancakes. This is something that we love during sailing days, watering days, navigation. Uh, the sun just set and so we're going through the night. I will be with the kids and Marvin is doing his 20 minute shifts and normally we're uh, we'll be uh, normally we'll be around eight or six a.m. tomorrow. Um, tell you right now. Seventy three nautique, and we are going at six six point five. On avance vers le, le cap à terrasse. Euh, ouais, 7 nœuds de moyenne là, euh, avec des petits surfs à 8 nœuds. Et, et, et en fait le vent il s'est levé. Donc là on a, je suis réglé à 50 degrés du vent, je vais vous montrer après. Et on fait, il y a 12. 13 nœuds de vent apparent. C'est euh, pour ça qu'on aime bien ce bateau. J'ai pris un riz à la grand voile et euh, j'ai enroulé le génois. Euh, bon, l'équivalent d'un riz sur le génois. Et on ne voit pas, on ne voit pas. Donc voilà. Euh, et la mer, c'est euh, un peu chaotique, mais c'est pas catastrophique. Si je dis pas de bêtises, on corrigera. C'est un des caps les plus dangereux du monde parce qu'il est, euh, est un peu compliqué avec le Gulf Stream à passer. Parce qu'en plus, il y a un grand banc de sable à éviter. Donc on passe entre le banc de sable et, euh, et le Gulf Stream. Donc ça peut être compliqué le Gulf Stream, il y a trois nœuds de courant. Et... Donc voilà, si, si... on est bien content de le, de le passer normalement par pétole. Donc le vent va tomber euh, d'ici euh, 3-4 heures. Euh, je remettrai les moteurs et euh, normalement on va le passer par pétole. Euh, voilà, de toute façon c'est pour ça qu'on est 10 bateaux dehors. Coucou Soso. <rire> bon, il est... Euh... 3h du matin, Swan il fait le quart avec moi. 
s'est levé, puis on va pas se recoucher. Et on regarde les bateaux. On est à 1h30 de passer le cap à terrasse. The sun teaches us that rise and fall are part of life. Each day it gives us a lesson in persistence and hope, shining brightly, bringing warmth and light, reminding us that every day is a new beginning. Can you explain your recipe, Beba, please? Blueberry. Where's the recipe? Wow. Blueberry, milk, flour, egg, lemon, oil, and honey. This is a so tiny filipino. I don't know how I made it, so it's like a flour. So now what do we do? We bake it in the oven. No, I have to go. Bro. I could search the world, would I be happier than now? What if I get hurt? What if we don't work it out? Hey, <laughs> Yeah, it's cold. We should close the window, right? Yes. Hi, everyone. Just to let you know, we uh, rounded Cape Hatteras at about uh, 4 a.m. We were sleeping with the kids and Marvin was doing his shift. Everything was very, very smooth. Uh, we didn't have any wind nor swell, so it was the perfect timing. And now we're... Mm -hmm. It's my heart. It's your heart. I we are. Mine. Say hello. We are arriving to Cape Lookout and to Beaufort in two hours. are arriving to Beaufort. It seems very, very dark, but it is yeah, only... Very busy. Yeah, very busy and very dark. Uh, it's only 6 p.m. I think it's even 5.30, so... It's like the winter time and the sun is setting very early, so... Yeah, we don't have any light to anchor and there seem to be a lot of uh, sailboats, motorboats, but I see a lot of masts. So um, it will be uh, difficult to find a good spot. Thankfully, we've already been here, so we kind of know the anchorage. I think that makes the things a little bit easier. Just gotta give me out. Just gotta give me out. Just gotta give me out. Here. Good morning, everyone. Um, yeah, we arrived to Beaufort yesterday evening and maybe we're already leaving tomorrow uh, but I had to work on the computer the entire day. Marvin took the kids to the beach so we were not uh, able to film this cute town and I really really feel very sad for that. I still wanted to show you from the boat even though some of you may remember we stopped over here on our way up to New York uh, and it's freezing cold outside but thanks god we have our heater is working inside so I'm in shorts uh, which is um, maybe not the best idea right now so why did we stop uh, in Beaufort? Uh, because since yesterday night the wind is it's, it's strong mm. and today it's like 40 
not of ghosts outside. Okay. Thanks God we just uh, rounded Hateras. Yes, perfect. 24 years ago. 24 um, years, years ago. Yes, 20. Yeah. Yes, and no, I feel old. we don't know if we live tomorrow to Wilmington or Charles Charleston. Uh, I will use Brady Queen to, to know. Silent night, I only have one wish for the shooting star. Okay, let's discover before by night. Uh, this is the only moment we have to go for a little walk together because we're leaving tomorrow. Uh, and yeah, it seems magical. So um, let's discover. Holy night. Send me someone to love so I can hold their hand while we're at skating around the trees and Park. Okay, so this is where uh, Father Christmas lives. <laughs> Tara was so happy. She told me, Mom, Father Christmas really exists. I'm happy that she's still living this magical moment. Here. We have to what? Oh, the letter? Yeah. We have to go and take it. Turtle doves <laughs> and all my favorite things come and set up too. So does love. Send me someone I can talk to. We'll share stories of our childhood memories of Christmas past. Chestnuts on an open fire. Another 